Good day. The title of my presentation is Rare Antenatal Detection of Anencephaly with Cystic Hygroma. Abstract type is an electronic poster presentation and my name is Dr. Kingsley Seko. Anencephaly is a common birth defect, commonly seen in the second and third trimesters of pregnancy due to failure of closure of the cranial neuropole. It is associated with absence of major parts of the brain and cranial valves. The sonographic diagnosis is based on the absence of the brain and calvarium superior to the orbits on coronal views of the head. Cystic hygroma is a congenital malformation of the lymphatic system, commonly in the neck. It is usually caused by an obstruction between the lymphatic and venous pathways in the fetal neck which leads to lymph accumulation in the jugular lymphatic sacs of the nuca region. They can be classified as septated or non-septated. The prognosis of anencephaly is poor, with most deaths in utero or after birth. Here we report a rare combination of both anencephaly and cystic hygroma. Images were acquired on a SUI Apple G5500 ultrasound machine, a covilinear probe with a transducer frequency range of 3 to 5.4 MHz was used. The patient was comfortable and made to lie supine with a 30 degree head up couch position. Warm inert big good sonic ultrasound transmission gel was used. A 39 year old gravita 7 para 4 plus 2 for a live female presented for routine antenatal booking at 22 weeks. Her previous confinement was 13 months prior to current presentation. General examination revealed a 24-week sized uterus, which was larger than the gestational age. Laboratory results were essentially normal. She was then sent for a booking ultrasound scan. This was her first presentation at 22 weeks for booking for the index pregnancy. Ultrasound findings show a single live male infant with absent cranial, vault and brain. However, there was cardiac activity. There was also prominent orbit seen given a frog eye appearance all in keeping with anencephaly. A huge multiseptated cystic mass was seen at the ventral aspect of the neck in keeping with a cervical cystic hygroma. There was polyhydramnose with an amniotic fluid index of 29.8. The remaining structures appeared within normal limits with good cardiac activity seen. This first figure is a sagittal view showing the cervical cystic hygroma and absence of the brain and the calvarium. The coronal view showing the frog eye appearance of both orbits is also seen in this image. The next image is a sagittal view showing the multiseptated nature of the cervical cystic hygroma. Prevalence of neural tube defects is about 0 0.5 to 2 per thousand and have been decreasing worldwide due to increase in folate use and early booking for antenatal care. However, the prevalence rates in resource-poor countries like Nigeria is much higher at 2 to 7 per thousand and has been linked to late bookings with no history of folate use. Maternal age is also a contributory factor with higher incidence of neural tube defects in mothers greater than 35 years of age. The index case presented at our facility for the first time at 22 weeks with no history of use of routine first trimester drugs, including folic acid. She is 39 years of age, which also increases her risk for neural tube defects. Cystic hygroma is rare, with the prevalence of 1 in 6,000 to 16,000 live births that affects all races. We, are pre we presented a rare combination of both anencephaly and cystic hygroma with a poor prognosis. That's what we've described in this case. Here are the references. Here's the con my contact information and thanks for listening. Thank you.